So here I'm in front of the Alaskan cedar, Camisipris nutcatensis. Uh, the specific epithet nutcatensis is named after the nutca sound in British Columbia. Uh, this is a great plant. Uh, you think a plant called Alaskan cedar that you would not be able to grow that in eastern Tennessee, uh, but it thrives. It does great. This plant is uh, very good to plant in a variety of conditions and very adaptable. Now, I used the scientific name Camisipris nucatensis. Now, there's quite a bit of confusion in the taxonomic world about what exactly to call this plant. You might see this listed as Xanthocypris. You might see this listed as Cupressus nucatensis. You might even see this listed as Calotropus. But we are going to list this one as Camisipris nucatensis because honestly, if you Google this plant, you're going to see it. You're going to see Camisipris nucatensis more than any other plant. Uh, quite popular blue varieties, weeping varieties, narrow varieties of this plant. Uh, this is native. Uh, along in, in British Columbia, up the uh, western north, northwestern seaboard of the United States into Canada. Uh, and a, a great plant, adaptable though to our heat and humidity, humidity of the southeastern United States. And one that you can plant in a narrow space, which a lot of people like. It's a conifer, it's a gymnosperm. Uh, it's one that you definitely should know. So Camisipris nucatensa, the Nutca cypress, again, a variety of different cultivars, some that are very narrow, some that are very uh, pendulous, uh, some that have bluer foliage than others. Often listed as hardy from zones four through seven, but it can be pushed into the correct zone eight. Uh, if it's in a cooler zone eight, like the Pacific Northwest, uh, it will thrive. In the wild, you can see this plant 40 to 90 foot high, spreading out 15 to 25 foot wide, so naturally a narrower plant. So to identify this plant, you're going to be looking for drooping sprays of small scale like bluish green foliage, rounded seed cones to a half an inch in diameter. The bark is gray, peeling, and loose scales. Uh, the, trunk, the trunk tends to buttress some at the base of this plant. Uh, but uh, you need to get to know this plant. You need to look at it closely. Uh, it does look a little bit different when it's in new growth than it does in later parts of the season. And here's a landscape tip. A variety of narrow cultivars are available that are suitable for small spaces.